All right, good day, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you greetings from Penzazo Travels. Okay, today I want to talk about a country called Seychelles. You got me? Seychelles. Seychelles is an African country in East Africa. It has a very good economy, a stable economy, and uh, they care about human life. They have a good standard of living. A lot of people are making research on how to explore uh, Seychelles. Seychelles gained more recognition when Canada government listed Seychelles as one of the visa-free countries to Canada. What does it mean? It means that with Seychelles passport, you can access Canada for free without visa. Without filling any form online, you will just enter Canada for free. And that makes Seychelles get a top spot in passport ranking. Seychelles was added. Philippine too was added. But like, um, a year before now, um, uh, Seychelles banned Nigeria from entering their country. Visa to Seychelles as a Nigerian is visa on arrival. And to other countries, to other nationals in the ECOWAS are visa on arrival to Seychelles. That means at the point of entry, there will be, um, there will be some kind of uh, screening. What are you here for? Or so, and so on and so forth. But uh, recently, Nigeria has been added back. As you can see in this video, that Nigeria has been added back is listed in their ETA system. So, which means that Nigerians and other nationals can can go to Seychelles on visa on uh, arrival. But there are things you need to take note on. Seychelles has work visa. They call it GOP. I made a video about a GOP last. Uh, last last four months i made a video about gop last four months and that video has been trending a lot of people i asked him i want to come to Seychelles and work i need a gop i need a work visa to work in uh, social gop means a uh, uh, gainful occupational permit it means it allows you to work in um uh, Seychelles. they have gop for one year they have gop for two years they have gop for three months so but uh, the requirement of the gift occupational work permit is a kind of high. You need someone in Seychelles to do that for you before you can come over. And it's quite a, a bit expensive because of the protocols involved. But that aside, now a lot of people are trying to assess Seychelles on visa on arrival, on the, on the tourist visa. And uh, there are a lot of scammers out here because I even encounter them and I browse. I, I called them, okay, I want to go to Seychelles. Uh, how do I do it? They told me their fee is 300000 for the Seychelles e visa. So I checked. I checked the requirement for the e visa of this uh, Seychelles. Then I came to find out that uh, uh, if I pay them that money, my money is gone. It all lies. So how do you go about it? For you to enter Seychelles on visa on arrival, you need to fill a form with their immigration on their, on their platform you need to fill a form with them and in this form before your eta can be approved you must meet this requirement number one national passport data page your selfie or passport photograph that's number two then number three your flight paid flight you must tell them where you are coming and where you are going a flight that can be confirmed your paid flight then number four your hotel in case you don't have anybody to stay with in Seychelles, you must have an hotel to stay and it is not all hotels that are good for tourism purpose because if you're going to Seychelles on business on tourism you must lodge somewhere so you must have an hotel that is satisfied by your government I'm displaying the certificate. You must ensure that the hotel you are booking have what they call safety tourism satisfied certificate. This shows that with this certificate, the hotel is um, is permitted to bring in internationals, to bring in foreigners to come and stay. You got it. So hotels with this certification, their fees are. A little bit high from those who don't have the, uh, that certification so meaning if you are looking for something that is too cheap and you get an hotel that does not have such 
certification, you will not be allowed to enter the country. So you must note that. So the cost of applying for this uh, 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 social tourist visa uh, ETA is um, okay. Before I go to the cost, you must have a yellow fever certification card, which shows you are in and out. Yellow fever certification card, you must have this. So when you have all these things, you cannot apply for the visa. You understand? You cannot apply for the ETA visa. Then within three days, the ETA visa will be approved. Then you book, then already you already book your flight. So you wait for your appointment date and move. So without this, there's no way you can get the ETA. So any ETA you are getting without paying for flight, without paying for hotel, is fake. You get me? It's fake. It's not any ETA an agent is giving you, try and verify it to avoid you wasting your money booking flight and at the end of the year, you're not allowed to enter. You get my point? It's fake because there are a lot of uh, bad agents there. So I'm giving you this information so that you'll be enlightened, so that you will know what you are doing and why you are doing it. Because there are, they, they, they are a lot of deportation at the point of entry and the reasons for the deportation are as follows. Number one, you're going for a tourist in Seychelles and you did not book return ticket. You only book going, meaning you don't have plans to come back anytime soon. You don't want to come back and they don't want it. You have to follow the rules. So what do, what would they do? They will send you back. That's one. Two, you are going to Seychelles. Uh, you are going to Seychelles. You have your flight to and fro, but you don't have a proof of accommodation. You don't have where you stay. They don't want people that will come into the country and wander about the street. They walk in here. What did they do? They bring you back. Or you book an hotel that is not safe, tourism satisfied. They will send you back. Or at the point of entry, they ask a question. Sorry, sir, what are you coming for Seychelles to do? They say you are coming to work and you are on a, a visa on arrival or tourist visa. They will find a way and will be you back to where you are coming from. You get it? Or you are coming to, to Seychelles. You don't look like somebody who don't eat belly food. Don't look like somebody that is okay. Don't look like somebody that is healthy. They will send you back. Let's say to bring back that body they they cause they hurt. So they will send you back so that you can come back to your home and rest in peace. You understand my point? So uh you guys to be beware of all this and you have to be informed of this information. So please try and share this information to others so that they will learn and they don't fall victim of all these agents of darkness, of all these scammers and, and so on. And you don't waste your money unnecessarily. And those of you who want to go to Seychelles uh, to work, but you are going with tourism visa, I don't have job link, so don't call me for job link for tourism visa. You can go there and see things for yourself. If it is okay for you, by you, then you can stay back and look for a way to get your GOP uh, certification so you can stay there legally. Anybody employing you will tell you about this information for uh, the cost of applying for, for this Seychelles tourist visa is, is this. Uh, if you are staying for seven days, hotel reservation and payment will cost about $1,000 to $1,900 for seven days. A flight is about um, $1,200 to $1,500 in millions, about $1.3 million to uh, $1.8, depending on the time and season you want to travel. Then um, you have to owe BTA. Yes, you have to owe BTA. Uh, the BTA you are holding will be um, according to their immigration law and their rules, you must owe a minimum of $150 per night. I Meaning, if you are going to spend seven days or you are going to spend 10 days in Mauritius, that means you are owing $1,500. This $1,500 will take off your feeding expenses. And because you can get at the point of entry, they look, you look, you don't look like who they are. They don't look like who they money. The console okay, no vessel, uh, Ablo, uh, how much you want to spend for this? Uh, for this Seychelles. 
where they come, how much you want to spend. Or where your BTA, can they bring 200 dollars? Baba, they will send you back because it, it is written that you won't come walk and you know one come through the legal way, they will be you back. You get so you must have this money in you. So avoid say they go come use fake credit card. Come do it here for you. Book hotel, book flight, we know they exist. Get you ETA, you travel. The time where you reach and the time where your ETA they talk, they different. They go I will send you back. So be guided to do this video no days because I get a lot of visas application on my desk. So I just squeeze time to to bring out this video to educate someone. So encourage me by sharing and subscribe to my channel for authentic and real information. If you have anything bothering you in relating travel, any question you want to ask, just call me on my phone or you send me an email. My consultation is free. I will respond to you. But please, why call it? Go straight to the point. No greet me. Are you there? I don't need them. Just, I got a lot of people I'm attending to. So you just go straight to the point. So I will, I will give you a direct answer. Thank you and God bless you. I remember.